Welcome back, you wonderful people. It's a great day to be alive. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace a socket on a work light. You know, the ones that have like the long bulb, they're called T3s, usually wattage of 250 to 500, something like that. Well, a lot of the times, these things burn up or fail and they just get thrown away. Well, if you have parts from other ones, you can swap them out and make a good one. So here is one that was burnt up and I was able to salvage parts from another one. So we're gonna go through, show you how easy it is. Anyone can do it. You can do it with a few simple tools. So uh, stick around and watch till the end. Here we go, let's get this started. Okay, so here you can see the actual good part that we're gonna be stealing or borrowing from this light we're gonna put it over here and replace this one that I actually got burnt up and broke. So these are little porcelain contacts and there's no way to save this. So that is why we're going to put a new part in. I was gonna try and clean this up, but it's not gonna happen. So all you have to do is disconnect the uh, these guys here. This goes through the housing and then there's a junction box in the back. So all you gotta do, pull off the white and the black leads. And they just meet up with the white and black leads coming out of the cord. And they're held together with these little uh, household junctions. They screw on, so you're actually twisting the wires together as you turn this on. You just make sure you have them tight and you twist that on until they are uh, getting a good connection. You don't have to remove the green, that would be your ground. So you just need to take off your hot and your ground and your uh, return power wires. All right, so back to the uh, the bad one here. Already pulled these two screws out, and uh, since we disconnected the wires, they pull right out the hole. So we're gonna throw this aside. Don't really don't really have any use for that. Now keep uh, before you take this apart, get a good look at where your wires are run so you can reroute them the same way they were. It'll keep them away from the heat and make sure that uh, they're in the same spots that they were when you took it apart. See, now all I have is a Phillips head screwdriver here. It's pretty much the only tool you're gonna need for this project. Undo these two screws, lift the good element free, there you can see the junction box. This one's broken. It should be sitting uh, on the back of the casing there. So I took the top off with two screws, opened up the box, and as you can see, this is how it looks. Unscrew the yellow junction. There's your two white wires. And then once that junction's off, you just pull these wires apart. There's your two black ones. See, it's real easy to pull those off. Just twist them. And you can pull those two wires through, pull it through the casing, and you're free. Now you can just uh, transplant this over to the other one really that simple. It's going to go right back in the way it came out of the other one and the way the previous one was sitting in here. It's 
it's easier to do with two hands, so you'll have better luck with this than I did holding the camera. I really got to do make sure I have all the right parts don't lose anything but you have the screw and this lock washer put those down in there tighten it back down on the uh, two spots there And the wires do run up around the back of the casing. There's a little stud there. This may differ from light to light, but uh, these were all the same, so I haven't seen one that's different yet. Let's see, right up around that little corner. That should stay in place once it's all back together. I believe white is your hot wire and uh, of course this is not plugged in so you don't have to worry about that but correct me if I'm wrong blacks ground whites hot I believe that's true but all you're doing is making the connection so that electricity can flow through the light bulb you just have to have a complete circuit so really all you have to do is connect the white to the white and the black to the black in the back so I won't show you that again since it's the same thing as we looked at before back there in the casing or in that uh, junction box just twist those little knobs down on the black when you have them together and then you'll be good to go so now that you have the socket installed you're good with the power as long as you close that box up so now we're going to put this uh, reflective heat shield back in here and this is the thing that pushes the light out and uh, keeps the wires and stuff from burning up because these suckers do get pretty hot that is why it burned up in the first place probably wasn't making a good connection so it wasn't uh, grounding properly and it fried the one end and this is easy all you gotta do, put one screw down the center and make sure it's sitting down in place and you're good to go. So once that's done, you see this gray gasket around the outside? This uh, seals the glass on the front from getting dirt and stuff inside. Um, while you have this apart, you might as well go and wipe down the glass clean it up good because that gets kind of foggy foggy and dirty and there's that screwdriver again what you can't do with the screwdriver all right that is done and uh, you can't see what I'm doing Push this down, make sure it's sitting right. Close her up, yeah. Check that out, I told you it was that easy. One screwdriver pretty much does the whole job. The rest is by hand. Get some glass cleaner, clean up that glass. If you wanna clean the front, that uh, grill that's on there, that just pops off. Just push it down from the top and up from the bottom and uh, that lifts right off and you can clean that up real good. Um, before you put the screw back in the front, go ahead and test the uh, test it with a bulb in there. Bulb just sits down in there, push it in one end, it kind of springs back. You can set it in the other end, make sure that is set in there properly or you'll end up burning out the socket, just like we had to do to replace it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging out with Normal Guy. Like and subscribe and share. I don't know why you'd share it, but I hope you learned something today. Come on back for the next one. See you then.